Listen, well, I can't help but ask you, why are you telling us all this? Why do you help people? What makes you think I'm helping? I'm just talking about the world as it is. You have to find out where you will be at the end of time. The harvest time has come, and the reaper is already on your doorstep. So I can talk about it openly. It's just that you are so blind and fooled by your scientists, your politicians, your priests. That you don't see the elementary. You can't see beyond your nose. Smart people have been seeing and understanding what's going on for a long time. This is why I speak openly. Because you can't change anything anyway. You can't change yourself, even if you know the truth. Because you are slaves. Am I telling you something new? You have always been told about this, from time immemorial. And you knew it. As humanity knew. They just didn't want to hear it. And they didn't want to believe it. And so. Like the devil, like demons. They also tell the truth. Everything is as usual. Don't you feel before you commit something sinful? Don't you understand what you're doing? You see. Don't you feel like you're doing something bad? You feel, but you do. It's yours. An informed choice. Without just whispers, prompts. He doesn't have the ability to force you to do something if you don't want to. Are you caught on your selfishness? When you strive to find something for yourself in the material world. And you're paying for it. You knowingly exchanged eternal life for the existence of a stone at the portal. You are the very stones on the bridge that is built from death to life. Only you are not walking on it, because you are already stones in this bridge. You can see the living walking on this bridge, but you can't even move yourself. Because the time when you could move and do something, you exchanged for illusion, pride, whining and inaction. It's logical. And it is. Therefore, everything is very honest. Who aspired to what, who wanted what, got it. There is nothing else. According to your faith, so be it to you. Or are you not familiar with these words? So I'm sorry. I'm telling the truth because you're not going anywhere. You are weak-willed, spineless. Look, I've just told you about the same whiners and suicides. But even if the whole world hears me, you know, there will be no fewer suicides. And there will be no fewer whiners. Satan always tells the truth, and you hear it. But you are slaves. That's why he does what he wants with you. And the truth won't save you. Because you are immobilized, self-loving egoists. It's true. And even the fact that some are now offended and indignant, looking at me, it just shows that their demons, who are younger than me, are subordinate to me. And now they're feeding me. And I feel it. Because you are fools and idiots. After all, I'm telling you the truth, and you are. Feed me. Every time you will remember me, and my slave, with whom you are enslaved, will boil up in you. He will take your life and give 90% to me and only keep 10 for himself. And you will feed him. He will take 90% of your life from you and leave only 10 to you. So that you don't die. And they continue to be proud, revel in their dope, 
enjoy wine. Strive for a rich life, for power. To live in an illusion, not in reality, and to exist for a very short period of time. And right now, those who are outraged are feeding me. And I feel like I'm getting stronger right now. And every time you remember me, you will pay with your life. And try to forget me. Try it. I'm not kidding. You slaves, try to forget your master. And I'll see how you do it. You will be squeaking, indignant, but you will be like a monkey going to the boa constrictor. And here you are just a monkey. And I'm a boa constrictor. What's the use that you can hear me now and understand? After all, there is a demon raging in you, which makes you weaker, and me stronger. Right now you're getting weaker, and I feel myself getting stronger. And that's the point. I'm just calling a spade a spade. Do you know why this bridge connecting death and life is so powerful, so strong, fundamental? Because it consists of you. And every time it is renewed and strengthened. And this process is eternal. The reaper is already on your doorstep. Do you live in the hope that someone will come and save you? He will come. The one who is stronger than me. And he'll take everything. And everyone. But the strengthening of the bridge, along which only the worthy will pass from death to life. And you will just lie there, look at them and envy. You are used to envy someone all your life, aren't you? So you will be jealous. In centuries. Being a kifa at the feet of the worthy. It's your choice. Each of you. And being the supporting stones in this bridge, you will be envious of the living, watching the worthy ones walk along you to paradise.